Hey friends and welcome back to the channel Krusty Cranks TV where we paint lures and make baits and I haven't got no videos up making baits yet but we're getting them I got them coming um, so today we're doing CC 050 the deep diver Krusty shad <coughs> excuse me okay so today paints we're going to be using obviously titanium white for the base coat I already got that done I'm going to put a little uh, pearl white on it. Next, I haven't had a chance to put the pearl white on. Sometimes I go ahead and put it on. Then we're going to be using just a little bit of pearl silver on the back. And then we're going to top it off with the pearlized black on the shoulders and the back. And the black shad dot. So, pretty easy paint job. Really just three colors, four colors, whatever. I Sometimes I don't count white as a color because it normally goes on all the baits anyway but um let me get my brush get the cleaner out of my brush and we'll get this bait going um so yeah this is a, this is a kind of a popular one for me um and i love it i fish it myself and i got i'm gonna get some video for you guys i'm kind of building up a little b-roll with uh different catches so you're gonna see me catching bait, catching fish on these lures. Um, I've just been so busy. I haven't even really had that much time to to go fishing myself. Actually, oh no, got a little stain of red in there. No problem. We'll get over it. Gonna get silver and black on it anyway. Hate it when that happens. Get enough full white on it, you won't even see it. But yeah, I haven't had much chance to go fishing myself lately. I've been out in the test pond a little bit. And I've been putting some more bluegills in to feed the bass. I got a bunch of bass in there, but they're just all I don't really. I mean, there's a couple big ones in there, probably well, big I call big like two pounders, but um. There's a couple big ones in there, but I, I got probably, probably 25, 30 good size, uh, small bass, actually, I don't want to say good size, I guess they're all around 12 inches, 15 inches, I guess you could call that a decent sized bass, but I got a bunch of little small ones in there too, so, um, trying to fatten them up, trying to fatten them up and put some pounds on them, pulling bluegills out of my bait pond if you haven't seen my 100 bluegill video go check that out and you can see where i'm getting my feed from i got a pond that's got a bunch of bluegills in it. it's loaded with bluegills but uh yeah i did i challenged myself one day just to get 100 bluegills see if i could catch 100 bluegills and uh so i thought well why not film it that way I can uh, that way I can fatten them babies up a little bit at least make them uh, a challenge to catch and Okay, so just hit it with the pearl silver just a little bit. And there's just a hint of that red, but it's not going to matter. It's going to have some black on top of it anyway. All right, so, and I didn't even dry it. I just let that pearl silver run into that pearl white. And uh, once you put that black on top of it, it kind of makes it pop out pretty good. All right, so this, like I said, this is a quick, this is a quick fun bait paint. And I do quite a few of these, so. Um, this is one of my best sellers I guess you'd say because most people's shads 
pretty common around the country. All right, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit so I don't spray too much down the sides and get it too dark. All right, so now I'm just gonna come down the back. Nice black eye. Let's back up a little more. And that's it, guys. That's it. Move it on this side over here. Move it on this side. Blend into that black. Blend into that silver, I mean. Alright, and that's it, guys. That's an easy. That's an easy peasy bait paint right there. Oh, don't want to put my black all the way out yet. All right, I'm going to heat dry this so I can get my shad dot on there. Okay. All right, so um, for my shad dot, I got this little plastic hole drawing tool pretty much. It's just got tons of different size holes on it, and um, this is perfect for shad dots. So we'll give him a little dot real quick. And with a little heat. Flip them over. Just a little further than what I was. Touch it up a little bit more on the gill there where I've seen a couple light spots. All right, there it is. Nice, easy bait paint. All right, let me dry it off and uh, we'll get the uh, eyeballs on it and get some epoxy on it and we'll finish this guy up. I'll bring you right back. Okay, so we're going to Put little silver eyes on this guy. He gets a silver eye. It really stands out against that black and silver body. Okay. Put a little silver eye in there. And it's pretty much centered. It's offset just a little bit. I'm going to get it. I mean, pointing towards the front. Okay. Flip him over.
super simple bait guys if you're just getting into bait painting simple and effective all right let's get the other eyeball on there I always use my burnisher tool. If you've watched my videos, you know. I like this burnisher tool because it pushes it down in that socket. He looks good. A little super glue always helps. Just so I don't dump it off when I put my epoxy on. Making sure my eyes don't look too crooked. If you fit down in that socket pretty good, it's usually, it's usually pretty good. All right, let's get some epoxy on it, and I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, here's the finished piece. Um, this was... CC050, the deep diving shad, crusty shad. And uh, colors we used, once again, I always like to run through the colors for you, just in case you forget. Titanium white, then we got uh, pearl white, then pearl silver, and then we finished it up with the pearlized black on the back and the shad, and the shad spot, so. That's all we got for today, guys. Uh, appreciate it. If you don't mind, hit that like button. Give us a subscribe. And share this video out to your friends, if you don't mind. And uh, hit that notification bell so you get notified when we put up a new video. I appreciate all the support, guys. And we'll see you on the next one. And always remember, stay crusty, my friends. Mm -hmm.